You guys asked for it. I went out and found it. You wanted me to get somebody on the channel who went through an apprenticeship program. And that is exactly what I did. I went out, I researched a bunch of apprenticeship programs. I chose one that I thought was really good. And I found somebody who went through the program. So Leah just graduated from high school and she did not want to go to college. She didn't want to take four to five years to get a degree. She didn't want to rack up a bunch of debt in order to start a career. So she started looking for alternatives and she stumbled upon an apprenticeship program called Discover Pro. Praxis. Now, Leah didn't have a clue what she wanted to do with her life. She had no idea what career path she wanted to go down. And the cool thing about Discover Praxis is they will actually help you choose a career path. So this is Leah's story of going from an 18 year old that had no idea what she wanted to do with her life to a 19 year old who was making over $55,000 a year and was very happy with her career. I think you're really going to love this one. This is yet another alternative to college. So if you appreciate me going out doing all this work to find these people for you, go ahead, show me by just tapping that like button. Let's try to get this one to 300 likes and also hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out on content in the future. So let's jump into this one right now. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I got Leah to come on the channel. She attended Praxis, which is an apprenticeship. So this is something I asked all of you. You wanted me to find some people who went to apprenticeships. So I went out there, I found some people, and I got Leah to come on the channel. So thank you so much for coming on and talking about your experience. Of course, I'm so excited to share about it. <laughs> awesome. All right. So just like all my videos, let's go ahead and start at the beginning. Uh, so you probably graduated from high school, you know, you're a young adult, and you're thinking, what am I going to do with my life? How am I going to, uh, you know, get a job? You're maybe looking at college, you're maybe looking at some other options, and you stumbled upon Praxis. So kind of tell me that story of how that whole situation happened. Yeah, totally. So I've, I've been homeschooled my entire life, um, along with my three other siblings. And we, and I kind of like, you know, got toward maybe like, you kind of, you know, in high school, you're just kind of not sure about your future. And then it all sets in in junior year, you're like, next year, I'm is going to be my last year, and I'm gonna have to figure out what in the world I'm going to be doing. And so I have, since I was homeschooled, I've kind of been like, like I've kind of known about alternatives and uh, kind of knew that college was just wasn't going to be my thing. I've never actually like, you know, gone to classes. And so I didn't really feel like that was something I was going to thrive in. And um, my mom has always been so good about looking for alternatives for me or just really wanting me to have the best experience in my education as possible and help me feel equipped to um, launch into my career. And so she's always like looked at, she's followed blogs and stuff and she stumbled along Praxis and just kind of casually showed it to me. She's like, I think this would really be your thing. And, you know, me being unknown of what, having no idea on what I wanted to do, I was like, okay, sure, I'll look into it. And so I looked into it and it seemed exactly what I wanted to do because I want, I, I knew I just wanted real experience and like, and I just kind of wanted to launch into it. I didn't really want uh, to like take extra school. Like I just graduated from school. Why do I want to go to more school? And I really just want, I want that hands-on experience because I feel like that uh, experience and knowledge is so enabling. I just wanted to feel, I just wanted that confidence. I wanted that confidence. And um, so I was interested. In, so we called in and um, I just instantly was hooked with the way that they like kind of, they asked me where I was and like really tried to get to know me and, um, and make sure they, they really make sure that Praxis is the right choice for you. Like if they, you th they think that maybe you'd be better off at college, they're not pushing it. Like if, if you, they told it's totally up to you and they do a great job at that. Um, so I fell in love with the whole idea of the program and um, then signed up and I started in January of 2021. And so I graduated at the end of December 2021. This is a year long program. So you attended Praxis. Um, now I know that Praxis has kind of like two different distinct phases. They've got the first six months and then the second six months. So can you kind of talk about the first six months of attending Praxis and, and what, what that was like and how that was? Yeah, totally. So the first six months are kind of your preparation. Um, so there's the first three months, which is what they call boot camp. And so this is your, like, it's literally a boot camp. You, I would not say it is for the like light of heart. You got to be hardcore in order to go through this boot camp because they put you through the ringer. I would not say it's hard. I've been pushed to tears, but, uh, they, 
put you through because they know that once you know, like once you've been through the hard stuff, once you come out, you're going to come out a stronger person and you're going to be so confident. I came out of boot camp feeling like I could do pretty much anything because they teach, they cover and they give you so much knowledge. They cover all the topics. Like uh, the first month, they each week you go over a element of like, a, like the foundational elements of a business. So, you know, customer service, marketing, sales, um, and operations. So those are like the main structures. Maybe what you're going, you want to go into is kind of like a little different than that. Or like, I know people have wanted to go into digital marketing or like, you know, like a little different than maybe just marketing or something like that. And, but it's the foundations of every business. And so you learn and kind of get to dip your toe into like, if you feel, feel the temperature of the water and see how you feel in it. And um, from that, I figured out that operations was something that I really enjoyed. I love being behind the scenes. Um, and so, it, and I wouldn't have known that if I didn't have gone, didn't go through that program um, in the way that they set it up. And then um, in the second month, they do a lot of writing exercises because um it really helps like dissect your thoughts. If you put it into writing, they have so many, like they teach you how to write blog posts and um, get you kind of in the flow of there. You take a uh, flow of that. And they teach you about copywriting and um, all these other things. And do you also have like two week long projects that you do kind of maybe based on something that you found interesting in the first month. And then the third month you have the whole month is dedicated to one big project to add to your resume. So what I did for my month long project in the third month was I had been working for my aunt in her quilt shop. And so what I did was made a digital brain for them. And so like somewhere where they could um, keep the, all their passwords and some, you know, cause so it's not all in um, my aunt's brain. And so that was something that I did for my month long project. And you do documentation every single week about your project. And this is just a huge thing to add to your resume to kind of show off when you go through the you know job hunt processes of like, hey, this is a project I did. I, there's, there's so much freedom in the projects you do. They don't have like they give you a general like, oh, you know, you could do one of these three things. But if you want to do something different, that's just still along the lines of, say, marketing then you can totally do that. They'll totally support you in that. Um, mm -hmm. So there's lots of freedom in what you want to do. You can totally align it with if you have an idea of what you want to do, or if you're just like, well, maybe I'm into sales. Like you can, they have give you a lot of room to take your project where you want. Um, so that's boot camp, And um, those are hard packed months where you really learn how to time manage um, and how to organize really your life, honestly. And they do such a good job at, like really walking you through the best way to use Google calendar or, you know, um, things like that. And they just do a great job with that. And so then after that, you're put into placement. And this is when you um, spend like the first week or two weeks, um, depending on how, how, how much time you put into your projects, um, you make a value proposition for a company, for one company, and you send it to them, um, which is like, pretty much saying like, Hey, I noticed that you don't have a chat bot on your website. Here's a chat bot that I built. And here's how I could help you like, you know, improve your company so that you make a value proposition and send it to them, uh, to a company that you find interesting. They are connected with a ton of different companies, or if there's a company like local that you would like to send it to, maybe you'd like to work for, you can send it to them. And then you also make a, a pitch video. And so once they've like uh, helps you make those first two things because those are foundations of what you're going to use um, in the rest of your like placement process, placement, finding a job. Um, once those are, you're, those are two things that you're going to figure out. And then they pretty much set you on your own. You are reaching out to companies, companies that work kind of like our partners with Praxis will reach out to you, ask for interviews. Um, and you like Praxis supports you through all of this. Um, just kind of, if you have questions or you're like, Hey, I keep saying, um, in this interview, like what are ways that I can stop doing that? And so they do all these kinds of things and to help you out. And then once you actually like find your apprenticeship and, or get, and get an offer, then you go into the last six months of the program, which is job support, which is super relaxed compared to the rest of the program. They really are just there to support you in your job because you actually have a full-time job. You don't really have time to do all these projects and stuff anymore. So they are just really just backing you up and asking if you have any questions or need any help with anything. And you have access to those connections for the rest of your life. You're always part of the program as after you join. So 
yeah, that's kind of my walkthrough. Got it. Well, that does sound really awesome. And I can tell that you're very passionate about it for sure. Um, I just wanted to clarify something really quickly. So, uh, and tell me if I'm wrong. So the first six months are essentially teaching you some foundational skills and then helping you figure out what career path you want to pursue for your first entry level job. And then the second six months, you're actually working in a job, basically like an apprenticeship and you're getting paid. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Yes. Okay. You, the, yep. Yeah, the first, first, uh, first six months, you're just there. They're, it's pretty much the education part and they're starting to launch you into your career. And then the last six months are just them supporting you and helping you through a paid internship. This is not some kind of like, like they literally say that, you know, if you get their average salary, I started out in a half time and a half and a part-time position. So I didn't get paid as much as they um, like say, like, this is our average payment you come out with. Um, but most of the time, by the time you end the program, you've like earned back what you put into the program to start with. That's a pretty cool concept right there. You're yeah, you're basically so at the at the end of the day, you you might have ended up with like, you know, zero cost to the program, essentially. And you learned all these skills, you got work experience, you got an apprenticeship, you figured out what you want to do with your life. So you're not having an existential crisis every five minutes, like a lot of people in college do. Um, so that yeah, that that sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Um, and I've heard nothing but good things about Praxis everywhere I've looked. So um, that's pretty awesome. Can we maybe talk about the first job, which was which you just got into a few months ago um, that you got after you graduated from, I guess graduated is the right word, from the, uh, from Praxis or the apprenticeship? So pretty much what happened is um, during the placement process, it can take, you know, however long it takes you to actually find a job or get an interview or an offer. And I was one of those people that it kind of took a while. <laughs> I had like 12 different interviews before I actually got a job offer. Um, but I like don't regret that experience at all because I got pretty good at interviewing and I always tried to find value in each interview that I had. Um, and I just knew that a job, the job that was right for me would, you know, open up and on that I have, I only have so much control over everything. And so I can just do my best in everything. And um, after those 12 interviews, I got a offer for part time um, with the company that I work for now. So um, during that apprenticeship time, I, 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 was, I did not have to pick part-time. They were just like, hey, if you want to go for this role, you totally can. But, you know, there are other uh, full-time roles that you could go into. And I was super excited about the company's mission. And so I was like, I feel like, um, and I'm in a financial position where I want to take on this part-time role. And so um, I went on with the company and um, pretty much before I even graduated the program, they offered me uh, full time and to be part to be an official employee. Uh, so the company that I work for now is uh, they're we're called Kadu. We're a pretty pretty fresh and new startup, uh, all about fitness motivation. And so going from that to a like real like this is a real job. Like I'm sitting at a desk and you know actually like uh, taking part in helping a company flourish was, um, a big step for me. And we're a pretty small company. I think right now we only have like eight employees and, um, going from that to suddenly becoming one of the most like integral parts of the company was just a huge jump for me. Uh, right. Like I went from like no experience in customer service to being our main customer service rep and changing people's minds when they, you know, experience a bug and they want to delete the app. Well, I support them and it helped change their mind. And it's a super cool thing. It was, it's been, it's been a really, really cool experience. I think I got my full-time offer in December. And so I've been working for them officially, like as a full-time employee for about like six months now, almost. Got it. Just to kind of the timeline you said it took a little bit of time for you to get an offer like longer than typical uh how long was that time after you finished the program uh to where you got the offer i think it was two three weeks beyond that is when i was actually in formal placement and then i got my job so i got so many interviews even in just 
the like pre-placement when I was like getting ready just because I was getting interviews and, you know, trying to reach out to people at the same time. So um, like they really, they really launch you and they really launch oh, you no. into it, but it took, it took me longer just in the pre-placement part. Okay. So um, it, it really only took you like a month and a half or so to get a job, yes. right? Yes. Oh yeah. That's, so that's not, not, not bad at not, all. <laughs> not, yes. Yeah. Not bad in the, in the idea of being, um, of actually like finding a job more of like, I, it took me longer to get through the, like actually sending in a pitch you know, like that, gotcha. and like the, okay. the things that the things they want you to like hurry up and get done, like first thing so that you have that experience and you're like, okay, I've done, I've made a pitch before I can make a pitch for this company that I'm interested in. Mm-hmm. They like, you're supposed to have that done right away. It took me a lot longer, but I was also getting like interviews all the time. So in the grand scheme, like they're really flexible and they did, they have really helped me get on my feet during that whole time. Um, and really nothing's nothing was wrong with it. I don't, I don't have any regrets, but, um, in like how the pr- program generally goes along, I probably should have been in that process a little, a, a little quicker and I could have been doing interviews a lot faster. So I guess technically it did not take me that long to get a job in the grand scheme of things. Um, okay. but how the program is structured, I was a little slow. <laughs> gotcha. And then I actually, I can't believe I didn't ask this already, but was the whole program just online or were there any like in-person parts of the program? Yes, it is completely remote. We've had people like from India and like we, there's people all over the world, um, who've joined the program as I have someone in my cohort who's from India, I believe. And like, I'm sure he had to wake up really early to join our, you know, late at night meetings and stuff. But um, I believe he, d- he did really well and he got his job and everything. Um, uh, so there's people all over the world, but we do have meetups like once a year um, for, but they're more socially structured. They're not like required or part of the program or anything. If you just want to meet people in real, t- real life that you've seen o- over, you know, Zoom for the past, you know, year and a half or whatever, then you get to go see them in person. We just recently had one of those in May and it was, it was really cool. It was really cool. Everything is remote. So you don't have to worry about where you live or traveling. Got it. Got it. And then I did want to ask about the, like sort of the money. I want to, I want to talk about the money a little bit Mm -hmm. here. So basically um, you can share whatever you're comfortable with, but I kind of want to, basically what people are going to want to know is how much did you get paid during the apprenticeship? And then how much did you get paid for your first entry level job after the apprenticeship? Or just generally speaking for that type of role, maybe you could just give a ballpark estimate of how much you would expect to get paid if you're not comfortable uh, saying the specific numbers. Totally. So um, one one thing I also want to say is with the program start out, it is... uh, $12,000 $12,000 to join Praxis. Um, they have like uh, different payment plans. If you want to spread out the payments or if you just want to pay in full, they are great with helping you do that. And so that helped, really helped me feel like it was achievable to join the program. Then beyond that, the average, I believe, is about uh, 5000 a month depending on like obviously it can change. And since I got a part time position, I got like half that. Um, when I first started before I became a full-time employee, um, what right now, what I make per year in my, uh, uh, full-time, like the, the job that I got from Praxis is 55 K, uh, per year. So almost like $19 and 10 cents per, per hour or something like that. So if I work like eight hours a day, which I, since I work remotely, I can be flexible with those hours and how things work. Um. But yeah, and that I believe I got, I have like the average, like w- what you come out of practice with is generally a 55K job a year from all the people that have come out. That's been their average. So yeah. Got it. That's definitely not bad, especially if you join like <laughs> right after high school, you're 19 years old, you're already making $55,000 a year, no student loan debt. If you start out with a full time position that gets the average. Uh, per year salary that you come out with praxis you end out with no debt like you'll get paid back what you put into the program and it is so much better than college where you put in all this money and all this time and then they just send you out like okay go find a job and you know good luck paying off your loans (laughs) with praxis they literally help you find a job and support you in that job and they want you to pay like they want you to leave graduate praxis with a like clean slate ready to freaking go and 
um, like tackle your career with nothing holding you back. And it is, it is an experience that you really cannot find anywhere else. I believe. I, I believe they actually have a hundred percent guarantee. Like if they're not able to get you a job, then like they just give you all of your money back. So they, they literally have yes. like a hundred percent placement rate for jobs. Oh yeah. Oh, absolutely. Right. They, <laughs> they will, they will support you. Like when I had trouble in my like pre-placement time, like after a while, like the um, lady who was in charge of my cohort at the time, she like scheduled a call with me and she's like, okay, let's walk through like with your busy schedule and what everything's going on. How can we structure this in a way that will help you like move faster and get through it and um, be able to solely focus on get on like interviews and getting a job and like totally walk me through that process. They really care. They really care about you being successful. All right. So do you have any just general advice uh, for people who are possibly thinking about doing an internship or, or an apprenticeship or specifically praxis? I recommend getting experience in whatever and all in all different areas. Like while you're in high school, like get, get little jobs and figure out, like get experience so that you'll be more confident once you like get into um, the time where you are going to find a career. But I really recommend Praxis for anybody who is not sure. Like if you aren't sure about you, what you want to do, like you're coming out of Praxis with a job. Maybe even if you don't like your job, Praxis will help you find a different one. But uh, they are so supportive in how they do things. And so if you're looking for just a jumping pad to get after something, even if you don't know what that is, you'll, you know, go, you'll spend your four years to get this degree. And then you're in like an office job, you know, doing entry level work that, and you realize you don't even enjoy it. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing your experience with Praxis. Um, thanks for coming on the channel. Uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, do you have any final words or anything like that for anybody? Well, if uh, you do end up joining Praxis, I'm on Slack. So reach out to me and let me know um, if you found out from watching this. I would love to speak with you. Awesome. Awesome. Um, and then you mentioned your company, right? Kadu, right? Uh, Kadu. Yes. Kadu. Okay. Um, cool, cool. Fitness Motivation oh. Lab. So if you're into I'll, that. I'll have that <laughs> pop up on the screen at some point. So. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for coming on the channel. Have a good one. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you.